And Kweku Timing has joined us with the very latest in business this afternoon. Hello, Kweku. Good afternoon. Hello. And yes. how are you doing? Uh, I, I'm, I'm still thinking about my city. Um, I mean, <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we did hear about the Bank of Ghana, you know, pumping some dollars into the system to make it, you know, so, so we can breathe and have some sanity. How soon are we supposed to you know, expect that breeze? Feel it, really? All right. Um, to a school of thought, it's immediate. To others, it will take some time for the effects to be really felt. But, you know, the Monetary Policy Committee, I mean, how is this an ultimate way of ensuring that at the end of the day, the city is cushioned? Or really, it is a stopgap measure in the meantime. So, well, this afternoon, we get to speak to one aspect on it, and we do energy matters. My name is Kwekutimi. But having talked about energy, let's go straight to the details of the Ghana power sector is expected to benefit from a 350 megawatt project through a partnership between government and Japan. Well, Minister of Energy, Manuel Kofi, will explain the project after completion would also supply water to residents in the central and in western parts of the country. Ghana's power sector has faced enormous challenges since the last quarter of 2012. Unannounced power outages have been frequent. The situation was attributed to insufficient generating plants, resulting in lack of power reserves for the country. Currently, the country's demand is pegged at 1,950 megawatts at peak hours. At a meeting with chief executives in the power industry, the energy minister, Emmanuel Kofibua, said there was a need to expand the power sector. He added the project to be executed by Taka and Japanese company Sojis would also improve portable water supply in the country after completion. This project is very important because we foresee not only increasing our generation capacity, we are addressing the issue of water treatment for these plants and also supplying water to the uh, central and western regions of, of Ghana. We are focusing a lot on, on gas. We are also looking at possibility of LNG, which are clearly long-term solutions for sustained increase in power generation. The project, which is yet to begin, would take about 18 months. This meeting seems to be an additional effort in deepening this relationship. The management of TACA is interested in partnering once again the government of Ghana and its respective agencies in the power and water sectors to develop additional capacity to the tune of about 350 megawatts, which will involve both water and electricity. All right, well, the best is equally coming to Ghana this time. So let's just see some of the opportunities that are coming through trade. As the president of the Ghana Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Dr. Seth J. Bar maintains Ghana's economy will grow if government policies are geared towards well-structured industrial base. He noted an imbalance in Ghana's trade sector was impacting negatively on the economy. Ghana's trade relations with Turkey has been vibrant. Imports from Turkey increased from 50 to 218 million dollars in 2012. The ambassador of Turkey called on the Chamber of Commerce to devise means at improving trade and investment between the two countries. Trade between Ghana and Turkey, which is rated 500 million dollars, is now expected to increase to 1 billion dollars by 2015. Ghana is a very important partner, especially in the West Africa. We have good relations, but uh, it's not enough. There is a big potential. We have to move forward. We have to deepen the, our relation, uh, and I think it's the right time to do this. With the depreciation of the city in Ghana still importing, the need to partner countries which do not give conditions would enhance trade. Since we are developing, we are hoping that we have an arrangement with them. We sign an MOU to have uh, the establishment of industrial zone. When it is done and our industrial base is well structured, then we can start doing exports, which will let the trade balance be in favor of us. 
All right, so we have all businessmen talking about the Ghana city. Not quite long ago, Seth Ejeban touched on the fact that because the city is not strong, we might probably have to be negotiating with countries that do not have detrimental conditionalities attached to their trade, and Turkey might be one. But just quickly, also trying to find out from the experts, well, government is intending to inject about $20 million into the economy. We just want to find out from an expert, and here he is a research expert with Gold Coast Security. Sami Ampa is joining Joined us on the line. A very good afternoon, Sami Ampa. Thanks for joining us. Well, the question my colleague Bridget asked a short while ago is: Are we to feel any impact anytime soon? <laughs> well, unfortunately, um, the sound does not look too good. We will just try to um, get the best of sound. Sami Ampa, if you are around, it would be good for you to reposition yourself and then again we will try to get you back on the line but we're talking about the ghana city the ghana city has seen some level of free fall within the recent times for the business community most of them are very worried about the city we're trying to get sami ampa back on the line as and when he gets on the line we'll bring you up to speed sami are you back on the line Oh, quite unfortunate. Well, um, my colleague Bridget might continue with the rest of the details later on if he comes back on the line. But if not, later on, we're staying on the story on News 360. We're getting you the expert's mind and we're bringing you all the details about the Ghana city. Sami, thanks for joining us back on the line. Let's just find out from you. Are we to feel any impact anytime soon if this said amount is injected in the economy? Well, um, that is a that 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 is a, a very big, big question uh, because we think that this twenty million that the Bank of Ghana is injecting was injected perhaps yesterday. So we'll, today the rates did not show any significant improvement um, as of today. We expect that um, it will be just a short term. It, 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 it's going to be a short-term intervention by the Bank of Ghana. Um, next week, we'll, that's where we'll be able to determine whether its impact had, uh, had really been felt. But now, I don't think it's, you can measure it in, 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 in the early state. Some businesses are complaining. A lot of people seem to be out of um, worry. They are just so concerned. Now, for you, this particular measure, do you think it's just a stopgap? And there are realities or practical things we should rather be doing. Uh, there are a lot of things we should do as a country. I mean, when you talk about the position of the Ghana city against other major currencies, it did not start two days ago. Neither did it start a day ago. Over 20 years, I mean, since, since we started measuring this, the city against its uh, trading currencies, it's been depreciating. You know, we've talked about the measures that we need to do and all that, and nothing seems to be going right. Would you, you know, so uh, would I, you say, I, I, would I you think say that this that issue should, should, should not be something that we should, we should even be asking what should be done. There are a lot of policies that with the Bank of Ghana is expected to work at. Look at the issue of dollarization, for example. What didn't we hear? I mean, we heard the Bank of Ghana coming out to say that they were going to, to stop dollarization in this country. But what has happened? It's still going on. You know, this uh, forex, um, the, the exchange rate policy that, that came. Look at the problems it is causing for a lot of business people um, that are doing business in this country. So really, it's, it's something that we've lived with it. And then it's better the leaders or the, the, the regulators of this uh, economy um, it's wake up, just as simple. All right, Sami Ampa, I'll say a big thank you to you because well, time is not on our side at this time, but trust later tonight to get all the updates as we speak to economists, as we follow up with the Central Bank and get all the other details that you need to know about the Ghana City. My name is Kweku Temimini. Thanks for staying with us. 